Number of times killed. Seven. Oof. This deathless run's taking a pound in. Oh, my God. So who do you think is going to die more by the end of the runs? You playing Resident Evil or me playing Ninja Gaiden? Um, well, now that you've started playing like Ninja Gaiden on fucking mental mode in practice, I gotta think do it. you, uh, I, you're going to be like dying less probably. I didn't realise you said mental mode. I thought you said mental mode. Like, yeah, that's it. That's an <laughs> accurate name for that mode. That's the, the one path of mentor, isn't it, you're playing on? Yeah, fuck you mode. Chapter M. Transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We stack the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? All this hat. So she fell into one of our wonderful <laughs> traps. We'll make sure we... Do you know he's only 20 years old? Can you imagine a guy who looks like that using a piece of technology? <laughs> no, but I just like, I love these conversations with Salazar because he's such a dick. He is. He should have been the villain from the start. Oh God, yeah. He should like, be If it was him, the villain, and like from the start till like spoilers, end of chapter three. <laughs> yeah, you kill him almost immediately. It's, it's a shame because he's really fun. Because he's like chewing the fucking scenery and the main bad guy isn't as interesting. And no, I think they should you have don't really see him that much. They should have gone more theatric with him. It's really stood, weird. Just stood perfectly still. Yeah, just himself, make a little note. Stealing himself for the, the challenges ahead. Like, Leon's just there contemplating life, going, oh, fucking lost her again. If I left right now, I think it'd be okay. To be fair, I think what he's contemplating is, oh, God, this chapter's next. <laughs> So, oh god damn it no not what are they called again the things that hide there's a name for them ooh I can't remember there is a specific name for them like all the enemies in this game there is yes and they're all like really cool Spanish names but the enemy that's coming up is uh, Carl do you want to quickly look it up while I okay yeah sure I'll look up what the um, the enemy's called they have a really awful uh, uh, what's the mechanic they've got a cool name so it's uh, Resi 4 Hear Insects, the great. So their gimmick is they're completely invisible. Yep. Oh, well, it is um, not completely. The novi uh, the novista doors. Oh yeah. Which is uh, Spanish for the unseen. It's like oh, such it's a cool. Good... But to play against it's really not fun. Yeah, because they're not invisible in the sense of a lot of other games. Where it's oh yeah, there's a. That they Slow. bend light around them, you can see like maybe an outline. So, no, they are one hundred percent invisible. Apart from the little like frothing of the mouth. Also, you can see their eyes uh, when they attack. Yeah, and um, there is a mechanic in the game where if you shoot them as their eyes glow, you're more likely to get one of the um, uh, items that they can drop. Uh -huh. Ah, because they drop a. But now, oh yeah, just, I'm on the yeah completely oh, I'm on the floor. But the laser does give them away. Oh, right, the dick. Yeah, the laser shows you where they are, but if you're not paying attention and you don't know where they spawn... Like They're not they a are, very fun enemy, but they are a they very are scary enemy. They are almost completely enemy. invisible, and they can be on either the floor or the ceiling. And they can run on walls, and they attack you from behind. And they have the most brutal death animation if they manage to kill oh, you. Which yeah. is where they vomit on your face and it melts Leon's face off. Literally melts like you start seeing his brain and shit. It's awful. It's probably the worst death scene in the entire game. Oh, oh. So that water does not look great. Right? There's yeah, a the water doesn't look great. You can just throw a grenade in there if you want. They're still working on like you know, um, you know, yeah, you can see GameCube textures. Yeah, I see it. So that's the thing. I roughly know where most of them are to start with. And when you make them visible, you can just keep shooting them. Oh God, no. That's the thing, they always do shit like that where it's like, I'm going to jump up and now I'm down Ooh. again. And then I'm going to jump up and not, no, god damn it. But you injured him a little bit so his ability to stay invisible is slightly damaged. I think there is another one down there. You can see him. Look. Can I? Yeah, to the right. Oh yeah, shit. There's another one in there. I yeah, respect I as well. That. That's what I mean. I don't have it memorised, I just have a good rough idea. 
He also didn't move as his mate was getting killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah nervous. So that's the, that's the one um, issue with the mind thrower right now is the blast radius is really small. Which is the thing that you can upgrade for it. And when you upgrade the blast radius, it's really fucking good. Yeah. Green eye, there you go. So they're the items that these things drop and you get a shit ton of them. But yeah. it's really annoying because you get two butterfly lamps in the game, don't you? Uh, yes. And there is a way, though, to guarantee to get enough to fill up both of them from one Oh, encounter. is there actually a way? There's a way to do it, yeah. I'm not sure if you'll have known about it, but I can tell you about when we encounter it. Yeah, because... Um... It's the blue ones are the rarest ones, which is what you get if you wait for their eyes to turn blue and snipe them. Look at him. You know he's in there. Look at him! Oh, I can't dick. hit it! Because that's just like the drip of the mouth. It is. Oh. He's in. There we go. So you might get a green one from that, because his eyes were green when you shot him. Oh, he's back. Oh. Oh, God. Right, wait for his eyes to glow. Oh, oh that kick is so annoying. You have no way to dodge it. I'm going to have to just shotgun out. Ah, see. There we go, his eyes. Damn it. You almost had it. Man, they're pretty fucking tough as well. I didn't realise they were oh, this God. tough. Oh, Yeah. The eyes, the eyes, the eyes. It's coming. Oh. oh, the slash. Why would you run forward, Luke? Because you know that spawns more. I know. That's you're the gonna, worst part. You're going to spawn more. Right, you do have it. a flashbang, though, if you need to get them off you. They really don't like the flashbang. Ah, oh, his eyes didn't glow. No. I was going to... I was trying to, like, wait as he approached. And this music as well. Oh, it's awful. Shot. Oh, God, no! Shot. Oh, Leon! Fucking yes! So you'll get a green one off him because his eyes are green. Yeah. What a bitch. Gimme. Give Gimme give the green one. Fuck yeah. So did you know that was the system for that? Uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't aware of that. That's how you get those. Oh, God. I'm not, I'm not reading ten pages. Sorry, people. <laughs> That's really cool, though, so they tell you about actual real-world parasites. Um, like the one that turns... Oh, beautiful. It makes frogs, or no, snails, grow a... Um, act against their own interests. Well, they grow oh, a parasite okay. that attracts birds, and then it makes snails climb to the top of tall reeds, which is where they normally wouldn't go, because birds eat them. And that's because the parasite wants to get inside the bird. Yeah, blue eye. Um, so, it's... Similar to how like cordyceps work with ants, but mm -hmm. it's to get the snail eaten rather than the by the birds. It's his end stage host. Because oh, fun fact, fucker. like the the good old last of us uh, cordyceps, based on real based, thing. based on like an actual parasite where it's like they take over the brain of ants, uh, and then yes. it's like they tell ants to climb to the, as, the, as high as they can get on trees, and then the ant dies, a mushroom grows out of its head and releases more spores. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened, and the, that's what the last plague is based on. Of what would happen if a similar parasite was able to control creatures with maybe a little bit more uh, mental faculties than an ant or a snail? Yeah. And the Last of Us um, plays with the same concept as well. But if you ever want to see an image uh, that freaks you the fuck out, look for that one of a tarantula that got affected with cordyceps. Oh, God, no. And it's a, a tarantula with all the stuff from The Last of Us like, coming out of it, and it's fucking Ooh. horrifying. Right, so I think if I go in here, they spawn then the I drain this and spawn more, I believe. But it's okay. It's, yeah! So, yeah, these butterfly lamps have the green, red, and blue eyes. The problem is, put though, into them similar to like the red gems and stuff. The problem but is that you only you... get those from those enemies, and they drop them randomly. So you might actually not be able to fill up the butterfly lamps you get, which is... Like, it doesn't matter because it's just missing out on a few potatoes, but it gets really frustrating to me. But there is a part of the game where you can guarantee to get one of every drop. And I'll tell you where it is when we get to it. Is it the hive? It's the hive, yes. If you destroy the hive, you get one of everything. Ah, oh, okay. But there are multiple butterfly lamps in the game. Oh, God! Yeah. That's where oh, he is. You could just run straight past all these now. You don't have to fight them. Uh, yeah, but he had red eyes, Carl. He did. Which means he's more likely to drop a red one. I'm not sure it's worth it. Nah, fuck it. It's, it's worth it because then you don't get hit. Would you rather lose healing items or get a few Well, that's potatoes? what I mean. Is it worth, like, the extra couple of potatoes? What to I mean, lose, like, all your shotgun health. rounds and potentially some healing items. Run. Run. No, Run, Leon. Run. 
Slayer motherfuckers. Let the door shut. Oh god, look at this fucking... This Charlie Chalk's bullshit. Oh, Leon was like, oh, thank god I've got out of there. Well. Well, Leon. You can get so close to that, though. I thought you were going to press it then. I genuinely thought you were going <laughs> to press it. Oof. Like, it's Perfect. not that hard, it just looks so intimidating. It does, because you have like very limited control over Leon. Oh, God, no. And that's another one of the really funny death scenes that you can get, because it just launches you directly against the wall, and it's like... <laughs> the no vista doors are such a cool what movie. is that noise it's the thing swinging okay are so we do doing you know the trick do you know the trick for this one i think i do if you can get the guy if you can snipe the guy because he has a where's a rare pendant that's worth like 10 grand we have to sneak past them all because he runs away if you can get him with the explosive from your mind thrower or throw a grenade in there yeah i was gonna say i've got uh, or a flashbang you can flashbang them and then just headshot them all which is another tactic you can use. But they all drop lots of items. So this is a really good way to get a lot of healing items. And just snipe him before he stands up. Do not let him oh, stand okay. up. Do yeah, not yeah. let him leave. Because if he leaves, you lose that item. Shit. Oh. No! Is he actually going to run away? Uh, He's going to run right. away with the head pop. Oh, perfect. Just throw it. It'll kill him. No! Oh, what a cock! Oh, he I was heard already something. dead. I heard something die. Maybe he didn't get away. Go down and check. Yeah. Because it might have been that his um, subordinates got away, but he didn't. His little lackeys. His Likitus. Because like, if if I didn't get him, that's bullshit. <laughs> I, I definitely heard that the last Plagueis die. Okay. Yeah, I love that. What's his plan? What's he doing? <laughs> I'm curious, like, what's that guy up to? He's like, hey, it's me. He's like, I really want to know what his backstory is. I wish he could talk to you. Yeah. Like, he's such an interesting character, and you never find out what his deal is, and it fucking annoys me. <laughs> oh, another elegant mask. One of a kind, Lucas, one of a kind. Oh, yeah, it says that, doesn't it, yeah? So, uh, it's either that or the elegant headdress. Like, one of them says on it, one of a kind. To be fair, though, it might just be, like... Leon yeah, you did examining get it. You did get him. There we go. The Illuminato's pendant. You should be able to keep that and just wear it. <laughs> just wear it, like, swag yourself out. Like, you wear that, the elegant mask, uh, all the rings, the pocket watch, the yeah. smoking pipe. Just attach it to yourself and just ling it. Like, I'd quite like it if the mechanic was Leon wears every single one until you sell it. <laughs> Fucking bling mechanic. And then it's like, oh, you can, you can bling it out. Or you can choose to sell the items and get the money. Or just have him carry every single one of his weapons at once. Fucking love it. Yeah, he's here. Welcome. What a don. What an absolute fucking don. I love him. I love him so much. He's so cool. He's the best fucking character in this game. I want and the to weird thing is, like, is almost just... I guess universally agreed. Like, no one ever had the conversation, but you asked people, like, oh, what do you think of the merch? It's like, oh, it's so cool. It's like, yeah. You're not going to go save the game? Because this next bit's pretty tough. Yeah, I've just remembered what bit this is. <laughs> I was thinking that. Are you going to be a ballsy motherfucker so, and just go straight for him? I think, like, you know, maybe we'll just call it there. We'll save like, that big-ass room for next time. Oh, just, Lucas, you ballsy, ballsy man. I'm going to go straight for him. No mercy. What? That fight scene, like, what are you saying? What for? No, like, what do you mean? I'm a ballsy man for going in there without saving the game. Oh right, yeah, yeah. It's like you are asking for trouble, my friend. Because that is another one of like the the crazy rooms in the castle. Yeah, it's one of the tougher ones. Like, some of that these rooms are harder than the ones on the island, just because on the island you have more equipment. Yeah, <laughs> and then but towards the end of the game, you get Mike. It's like, Fuck yeah, oh, Mike. God, yeah. Mike. God, I love Mike so much. Can't wait for Mike to arrive. Fucking Mike. Let's kill some Ganados. And let's make sure I'm reloading. Oh! I'm ready first, Carl. That reload animation is so fucking oh, it's good. So good. Right, we're ready. We're ready to go. And, uh, I just... need to not be on a half screen projection. I need to look at this world. <laughs> there we go. Still recording remotely, folks. Social distancing. 
Man, how far ahead are we going to be on re- the videos recorded during lockdown? Uh, like we're going to be talking about social distance. <laughs> we're going to be talking about social distancing when it's no longer a thing. Like, oh. So, so what, the last thing that happened was Ashley just got wrecked. Ashley went into the clearly marked trap. Uh, here's like, the question oh, no. though: Do you miss Ashley when she's gone? Uh, no. Because I'm wondering by this point in the game, like they clearly want you to feel, oh, well, Ashley's no longer with me. Oh, God. Oh, I feel, I feel do you want to do here, though, Lucas? Feel bad about this, Carl. Do you know why they do it? It's, like, it's probably because if you had Ashley during these moments, they'd be fucking unplayable. Yeah, literally. You would not be able to get through these areas with Ashley in town. Oh, God. I could not do this shit. I can barely deal with them as it is. The People have probably been able to tell I can barely fucking do these like moments yeah. anyway. The novice, the door, the unseen. Oh, he's coming. Is he actually coming yet, though? I heard him definitely uh, make his I am ready to kick your ass noise. I am curious, though, Lucas, right? Um, do you like the idea that they're perfectly invisible? Like, from, not from a gameplay standpoint, from a lore perspective, or would you rather they had like some sort of weird shimmer? Is there any actual reason in lore for them to be perfectly invisible, though? It's probably like they bend light around them. That's the explanation they always use in all fiction, even though that makes no sense. Yeah, and I don't mind the fact that they are, but like as in terms of gameplay, it makes it very annoying to fight. Yeah, but from would you oh. rather they had like a weird shimmer to them, or do you like the fact they're completely invisible as like a threat? I, I like them. I think they're a good threat, and this is meant to be like an action horror game at the end of the day. Hmm. Because they are, they are. 100% completely invisible. Because I've forgotten where this guy is and I keep hearing him make the noise. You can just keep hearing him like, wait a minute, did we just do this bit? Is this where we came from? Have you gone the wrong way? Yeah, we ran past them, didn't we? Oh, because I remember we went through that, you threw a grenade in, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, did you not save it when you got to the other side? No, I did, because Ashley's... Oh! Kill him! Kill it! Lucas, you balls him! Oh, oh no, you... Oh! Oh! You ballsy motherfucker. I tried. Oh, God, they just take so much. What a beast. Oh, right in the face. Gimme. What you got? Yeah, because actually, Leon. like, has been Did you even pick up that treasure? There you go. Hmm. More. More right, research is needed. Let's check them out quickly. Because it'll show you where you've been, won't it? Or where your goal is. Ah, yeah, because I just went in the wrong door. Oh, is that what you did? Or did I? Fair enough. Uh, like me and you, just like. Because I definitely remember you went through that bit. Cause you threw a grenade in there, didn't you? Yeah, I've we'll been double through check. all that bit. We'll it double check. I've been through all that. Okay, I was gonna say double check. Have you still got your grenades? Let me just wait uh, and make sure. I only have five grenades. There we go. So you didn't um, make the mistake of not saving the game. It's just we went back in the wrong door. Yeah. And the enemies repopped. I think it was just that I didn't go through that little bit, so there was that one guy left. Maybe, yes. Oh, man. I love that animation of Leon climbing with his um, shotgun in his hand. Is it saying anything? Oh, do, do this. Get this quote. I better find another quick route. Oh, no. I thought you said I'm coming, Ashley. Because <laughs> there's a couple of like, little moments where you get a glimpse oh, well, into Leon's that's psyche. Because cool, I missed this. So I've just yeah, I... Oh, man. Uh, that, just, that Justice League level of depth. <laughs> the angels are upside down, so Lex Luthor's evil. Yeah. Uh, so we killed them. Um... You got the stairs, didn't it? Because the yeah, door that the stairs opens. So that previously locked out is now available to go through. Yeah, that's what it is. He, he, he. Does that mean Ashley came through you? That like she didn't come through the um, area with the novice doors, did she? Oh, I remember. Yeah, because yeah, we... yeah, because we walked into this room. Realise that it's... No. Yeah. Because it's the puzzle first, and then it's the fucking mini-gun section. It's like, no! So, sorry, folks. Sorry about that. Hey, it happens. We all get confused. This is what happens off. when we, like, take a week off. There he is. Because I remember this bit's like, we went, nope, because this is going to be an entire what? fucking deal. Oh, thanks, door. What a bay that door is. You can just hear the crossbows getting fired at You can. Yeah, I love this well, this completely pointless window you can dive through. Please dive through the window, Lucas. Please do the completely pointless dive. It's so dumb. Uh. Uh. Look, you can walk around it. Turn around and show that. You can walk around. Look. 
There's just what steps is, right there. Why is that there? It's so pointless, but you have the option to just like action man die through. <laughs> oh, suplexing downstairs, suplexing downstairs. Oh, ah. Oh god. So you're gonna try and pull off the trick to get the guy before he gets in the minigun? Uh see, I'll I'll give it one shot, but Oh, I mean, I remember trying it uh, previously and fucking up about five times. Ah, oh, fair enough. It's not hard to kill him because you got the rifle, so you just headshot him off it anyway, so. Yeah. But one of my favourite bits... Yeah, you can throw the grenade down there and get him, can't you? If you can just angle it... Wait a minute, you've got a mine thrower. You can launch the mine thrower at his feet. I can. Yeah, burn him! Because isn't it when you jump down, he comes straight up here? And then uh, he runs against the minigun. Like yeah. I tried shooting a few mine throwers down there. That's a nice big explosion, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, it's quite a small explosion at the moment, but yeah, it's still a nice explosion. It's, it's more it's a pinpoint accurate explosion. At the very least, you can thin out the herd. It's the red one, isn't it? Can you? Is there any way to get a clean shot on the red one? Because the moment you jump down, you know what he's going to do. He does. Yeah, slave fucker! He's oh, such a dick. Man. I hate him so much. Look at him! So he I runs. Think I've, I think I've messed up how you do that. Like, I've forgotten how you did it. But there is a way to kill him first, because he runs and gets on a minigun, which is really annoying. Though you've got a rifle, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, it should be alright. I kind of wish there were more enemies in the game did that, because I love the idea of enemies that just run away. Like, no, <laughs> yeah! Pathetic. Oh, man. Do you ever see that thing where someone converted the Pesetas to figure out how much they'd actually be worth? It's like, oh yeah, a rocket launch costs like $18. <laughs> Something like that. To be fair, Leon's like his only customer. He needs, he needs those cheap, you know, figures. He's got to get those sales on the go. He's got to do it. He's got to offer those discounts. Those Steam sale 90% discounts. <laughs> ah. It's, it's so awful. It's so disgusting looking. Oh god, and then it just bites your head clean off. It's like, oh god, no! Well, to be fair, yeah. It that makes, makes sense. sense. Oh, that's a that completely pointless dive though. Why is it there? <laughs> it makes me long for more areas where Leon can just do completely pointless like, action hero shit. I was wondering if you reckon like... You could probably go to That's bullshit. Yeah, as I open the fucking door. What is this? Oh Dark god. Holes? Oh, oh, oh. How many shots to the knee? Do it, kick. Oh god, you won't let me anymore. I love as well how you're just effortlessly shooting him in the head and he's still coming and she's like, come on, I've got this! After like round after round goes to his guts. Oh, I love it as well, you can see the, his feet as well. The entire time you're chasing him, you can just see his feet as he runs away. Oh, can it's you? great. Yeah. Like when you run around that corner, you see his feet going back around the corner. No, oh, that's cool. I never noticed that. It was one of the things, like, it's why you can get him early if you can just peek around the corner mm -hmm. and get like, your rifle or something like that and you can shoot him in the foot and then when he's on the floor, um, you can run up and shoot him in the head. It's like, this is what he does. Look at that! It's so dumb! It's just like, no, no, no. Oh, I've just realised why that window's there. It's what, so you can go through... Be, frame it. It's so you can go through that if you want to be an absolute fucking boss. So it seems tough until you realise, oh, Lucas just has a rifle and can just, just edge his way out just a little bit. Oh god. Oh, oh god, what a shot. Yeah, that's the thing though, like edge it a little bit too far and it's like, oh god. So what is this Ninja Gaiden? Oh no. Re really? It's like um, fighting JJ and stuff oh, like that. Oh god damn. Which are the minigun guys late in the game. Oh, where yeah. They're, inf they're infuriating to fight because you can never time it just right. Oh, my and this, God. And this is what happens. Where it continue, it's like you just get stuck in a pattern of you miss your shot, it takes so long to cock your um, your rifle that you get hit by the volley. Oh, you're, just, you're just not taking any chances now. Well, I'm going to try not to, but I think I'm going to get a hit anyway. And now we've got no fucking... Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you get him? Can you get him? No. Nope. Is that is that clean? Oh. No, it's not. You can also, if you're a, a want to be a baller, uh, run all the way across, get a really clean shot. But you have to make sure you de you get him. This might be another one because you can have it on the door. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna iframe it. Oh god, oh, no! Shit. You just 
He changed his lane back. Can he? At least he can't hit you when you stood nearby. Oh, he can't. Can he? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Can you get him? Can you get him? Can you get him? Oh, so he turns really slowly. Oh, you got him. You've Are injured you him. For real? What did he do? Yeah, did uh, not kill. I heard him scream in pain though. It still hit something metal. Right, so we'll wait. Oh my god, no! Oh my, did he spin all the way around? Oh no! Oh, Lucas. You know what? That was such a poor effort. I think that's a good thing anyway. I think it sounds like you ran around so much that you've got you basically nearly lapped him. You went, oh wait yeah. a minute, you just turned back to the left by <laughs> a foot and got you. He's like, hang on, wait, no.